next, we will look at the scale in the scale drawing. The scale will tell us one unit of the drawing represents how many units of the actual object. One unit of the drawing represents how much of the real world. Scale drawing is always written as 1 to n. The portion in front is always 1. And the one in the front portion of the ratio represents one unit in the drawing. The n at the back tell us the number of units of the object in the real world. We can also write the scale this way, as 1 over n. The one on top here means one unit of the drawing. And the n down there is the actual length. For example, if the scale is 1 is to 2, this means one unit in the drawing represents two units of the actual object. If the scale is 1 to 1000, that means one unit in the drawing represents 1000 units of the object in the actual world. This scale is common for map. Now let's look at this example. The one on the left is scale drawing, and the one on the right is the object, the actual flag. One unit on the drawing represents two units on the actual flag. So the scale of this drawing is 1 to 2. Or we can do it this way. The length of the drawing here is 2 while the length of the actual flag is 4. We can get the scale by taking the ratio of the length on the drawing to the length of the actual flag. Next, what we need to do is to make this 2 become 1. We can do that by divide it by 2. Then we also need to divide this 4 by 2 and we get the scale 1 to 2. One more example. Here, the length of this side of the drawing is 6 units, while the length of the side of the actual flag here is 4 units. Next, we need to make the number in front become 1. We do that by dividing 6 by 6. And we do the same for the number at the back. 4 divided by 6 is 2 over 3. And we get 1 to 2 over 3. Let's look at the scale again. The scale here is 1 to 2. The 1 here is 1 unit of the drawing. The 2 here represents 2 units of the actual object. So the object is two times longer than the drawing, which means that the drawing is smaller than the actual object. The scale here is 1 to 30. The 1 here is one unit of the drawing. The 30 here represents 30 units of the actual object. So the object is 30 times longer than the drawing which means that the drawing is much smaller than the actual object. One example is the drawing of a car. The scale here is 1 to 500. The 1 here is 1 unit of the drawing. The 500 here represents 500 units of the actual object. So the object is 500 times longer than the drawing which means that the drawing is very much smaller than the actual object. One example of this is a map. So when the number at the back is larger than 1 in front, the drawing is smaller than the actual object. On the other hand, when the number at the back is smaller than 1 in front, for example, 1 to 1 over 2, 1 to 2 over 3, 1 to 1 over 10, and so on, 
the drawing is larger than the actual object. For example, the drawings of the components in your handphone or the components in some precision devices, etc.